Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm here, here to talk to you about the Alula Bat Connect and how to get that communicator wired into a Honeywell Vista panel. Super easy, going to be a four wire connection doing this. It wires in exactly like a keypad. Um, so this shouldn't be too bad. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and get into it uh, pretty quickly here. So you are going to need uh, a screwdriver. So mine is one of the ones that's flathead and Phillips head, so it's a reversible one. Um, really, you truly only need the flathead part, to be honest. Um, you're also going to need a length of 22 gauge, 20 gauge, or 18 gauge wire, and preferably four conductor, unless you want to just split it up and just go one strand at a time. Um, but uh, this will need this piece of wire. It does not come with this wire. So make sure you get a length of wire and you have that ready to go. Uh, now the first thing I want to do is I want to show you how to open this up. It's super easy. This communicator is awesome. It's the uh, tripath communicator, of course, we're talking about here. Uh, there's a little latch on the side. Just press that down. It opens it right up like so. Super easy to do. Very easy. Uh, I can't stress that enough. So uh, as you can see, I've already pre-wired this thing in. Uh, this is done prior to the video. It does not come like this. Once again, uh, you are going to need to get a length of four conductor wire. So uh, my wire is color coded uh, red, black, white, green. Uh, red is going to be the 12 volt power. So looking up inside of the Alula Bat Connect, you'll see the terminals um, I'm working with. So if you're going from uh, right to left, it'll be the third terminal to the left, which is labeled plus 12V or 12V. Then to the left of that is going to be G and D. That's where you're going to want to put your black wire. That's ground. Uh, next to that is going to be a terminal titled Y N, which is going to be your yellow or white or whatever other color you want to use in there. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then the next wire to the left of that is going to be G N. So I use the green wire for that. So the only one that's not actually color coded is the white wire here because I don't have a yellow wire to to sub for that. So white is taking the place of yellow here. Um, so it's pre-wired. As you can see, it's, like I said, very easy to get that in there. Uh, this is where you're going to plug your Ethernet connection in if you choose to do that. Uh, it's also a Wi-Fi communicator as well as a cellular communicator. So this thing is fantastic for those of you that are looking for, you know, a, a quick solution with multiple forms of communication. Um, so once we have this wired in on this end, we're going to go ahead and move this to the side and we'll get this actually wired into the panel. So prior to doing anything with the panel, you want to make sure that it's completely powered down. So backup battery and power supply completely uh, disconnected. Um, there should be nothing displayed on your keypads. Uh, it should be completely dead. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be wiring this in exactly like a keypad gets wired in. Uh, super easy to do. We're going to be going into terminals four, five, six, and seven of the Honeywell Vista panel. So the first connection we'll make here will be the black wire. Now remember, this panel does need to be powered down. Mine has no power. We're going to be going black wire to terminal four. There will be other wires in these terminals. Do not take those wires out. You're just going to put these in there along with it. So this black wire will go to terminal four. So ground inside of the Alula back connect will be running to terminal four inside of the system itself. The next connection we're going to make is the red wire, which will be running to terminal five inside of the Vista. So you just get that put right in there along with the other wires that will be located in terminal five. The next one we're going to put in is the green wire, which runs to green or GN on the board. So you just go ahead and put that into terminal number six on the Vista panel, which also will have wires once again. Just put this in there with it. And last is either going to be the yellow, white, or whatever color you're using. Uh, you're going to put that one into number seven, and you're going to go ahead and tighten that down. This will also have wires in it as well, so just make sure you don't slip a connection. Uh, at this point, you are completely wired. You're ready to go. A lot of you will probably take this wire and feed it out of the back of the Vista panel uh, or whatever you choose to do to get this, uh, this wire out of the way. Um, but at this moment, you are connected. Uh, you can plug in your internet connection if you choose to. Uh, but at this point, you're ready to be activated. So give us a call uh, before powering your system on, and uh, we will get this thing going with you. Also, you will need your installer code for this. Uh, we will need to access programming. But the good news is that on Honeywell Vista, it's usually pretty easy to backdoor into programming and get that code. 
So this has been the video for the Alula Bat Connect and its wiring and connection. Super easy to do, um, and I, uh, I hope that you guys uh, get some use out of this video. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. We're more than happy to assist. You guys Be sure to care. subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.